Probably the most famous tree in eastern North America, Almus americana, American elm, and the Almaceae. Once the most widely planted street tree throughout most of North America and also throughout Europe. But because of two diseases, the Dutch elm disease and the elm yellows, those two diseases really keep us from really planting this tree in large numbers. It is a very fast growing tree. It has a very distinctive leaf and the leaf has a doubly serrate margin or two types of teeth, small teeth and large teeth. And it has a very distinct venation called pinnate venation. And like all members of the Almaceae, the leaf base is very asymmetrical. So when you fold the leaf in half, the two halves do not match evenly at the base. The form is one of the most distinctive of all forms of any tree anywhere in the world with a very deliquescent or vase-shaped habit. And when they line the streets, as mature trees, there were few trees that really, in any place, rivaled the beauty of American elm. It's a very fast growing tree. It has a bark that depends on the site, what the characteristics look like. On a drier site, the bark tends to have a interlacing network of ridges and furrows. But on very wet sites, where it also commonly occurs, the bark tends to be very scaly. This tree gets large, and as it gets large, the base of the tree flares out forming these large buttresses that look like trees in the tropics. One of the most distinctive trees, one of the most beautiful trees in the world, Almas Americana, the American Elm.